Alright guys, so uh, making some pogo anchors tonight and uh, figure I'd share it with you in case y'all need some ideas on how to do it or if it could help somebody out. Uh, I make them, they're a hell of a lot cheaper than buying them. Tools you're going to need or I like fencing pliers, bolt cutters, uh, swedging tool cable of course, double ferrules, uh, hammer, whatnot. Don't have to use a swaging tool, you can use an anvil. I just like the, the security of that swaging tool. Uh, what I've got here, it's it's called Bob Custard's uh, Trap Bender. It allows you to bend uh, S hooks, J hooks, uh, you can make base plates with it for those of you who base plate. Uh, also, you can uh, make your own swivels with 20 penny nails and uh, and just regular nuts. Uh, real handy tool to have anyway if you're into doing stuff yourself. Anyway, we'll get started here. Uh, start off, take a 20 penny nail. We're gonna make our J hook. So all I'll do is put her in a bender here with the head of the nail on this side. Bend that to a 45 degree angle. And we'll flip the nail around here. Go ahead and uh, start bending that around a little bit further. Start to form your, your J hook. Get a little ways there. We'll put on our two inch fender washer there. And then uh, go ahead and throw that back in your bender there. Go ahead and finish your bend as much as possible. Take it back out. Take some uh, bolt cutters here. Go ahead and pop off the rest of your nail. Set that off to the side for a little while now. All right, then we'll come over here, take and uh, take your length of cable. I like, uh, I use, it's an 18 inch pogo anchor whenever it's all done. So uh, that's plenty deep, drive them in, in sand or soft mud or anything. And you know, if you get in clay, don't drive it so far, you know. But uh, that way you just have one one standard size and you're not digging for different sizes. So for an 18 inch pogo, you can see right there, I use a little weld bead there. 20 and a half inches of cable. So I take and I can measure that off there. All right, now I just, I took on my bench here and welded me up a big blob and then took a grinder and cut a groove for the cable. Cut another groove. All I do is take a chisel here, set right there, take your hammer, couple good whops with it, cable's cut off nice and clean. Now then we'll take our double ferrule here, get it started through. Put it on our swedging tool here. Get it sucked down. Crimp it down nice and neat. Now we'll go ahead and just simply do it with the other end there. Set it in there. Crimp that down. There's your cable length. Now we'll take our J hook and our washer we made there. 
slip that through. I like fencing pliers, they really grip down on them J hooks. Grip that down tight. There you have it. 18 inch pogo anchor. You can see. 18 inch. Now then, some guys like taking curl these. You can do it if you want. I don't really bother with it. And just take it on a, a nice surface and curl that so where whenever, if you don't drive it so far in, that cable will curl down in that hole and you'll lose all that excess. Now anyway, I, I make my own uh, drivers for them too. I've got different sizes here. This one here is 24 inch. Fits nice pack basket. You can see there, take and cut you a little groove there where that nail fits in. Then cut, cut another groove there where your washer fits in. You can see right, right there, that nail fits nice and secure inside that driver. I overcut my groove on the washer just a little bit. You can see a gap right there because you're going to get dirt and stuff in there. That way you're not digging it out, wasting time with that. Drive that pogo in there. Always remember to set these pogos. You'll take two, two and a half inches. It'll come back out after you set them. And let me tell you, with a two inch fender washer, you can hold anything out there, even in soft soil. So anyway, just a little video on making pogo anchors.